Hello everyone, greetings from Munich, Germany, and in this video we will discuss with you being unhealthily choosy versus having really high standards. And while filming this video we will listen to some classical music, so enjoy not only the view, not only the topic, but also the background music, well, it was already here. Uh, my name is Svetlana Mucha, I'm the founder and the leading matchmaker at Diola.com and at this channel we speak about love, flirt, particularly about international dating. So let's jump into our topic, uh, having high standards versus being unhealthily and realistically choosy. I'm sure parents will understand me and even if you don't have kids, you have watched your nieces, nephews, your neighbors kids, your friends, kids at a table. And many of you know how hard it is to actually feed a toddler, because now he wants to eat this and five minutes later he doesn't want to eat his pancakes and he wants a fried egg sunny side up and he wants that egg only on this plate or only on pink plate or he wants something that that girl is eating so kids they get so easily distracted and very often they can't make up their mind and of course as parents we try to feed our children with healthy food so we make healthy choices for them but kids don't want them and even if you let your toddler have that sweet treat he or she can change his or her mind. I don't want that. I want it wrapped into another paper, another plate, etc. Guys, I have seen it so many times when singles, adult men and women, act exactly the same way when they date as toddlers at the table. Today he wants to date a very attractive but very down-to-earth woman and she has to be this, that and you do unrealistically complex search for this guy, you introduce him to such a lady and then he gets distracted, he tells you that you know what, I have seen a woman on TV and she is more attractive or I believe that woman over there that has a date with the other guy is more beautiful. Let's return to our food reference. Well, kids, toddlers, they usually don't know what is good for them, what is healthy and which products they should avoid. And adults, especially people who have managed to uh, build this healthy habit of eating healthy, they know which products to avoid and uh, which products are good for them, which products uh, they can cheat on sometimes and usually they do smart choices and every time I see a man or a woman who has a similar approach to dating, a healthy smart approach to dating, this person for example knows that okay I'm not going to proceed dating this person because she gives me mixed signals or this man he's not returning my calls well he's not interested so I'm moving on. When people have the smart approach uh, they determine easily uh, which people have potential to be toxic in a relationship, uh, which people can bring too much drama into their life and they avoid them. They are looking for someone healthy, they are looking for someone who is actually good for them. People who are not very smart about their dating choices, they remind me of kids who can't make up their mind what they should eat. They don't know what is good for them and they are constantly changing their mind. I have watched my daughter with my mother-in-law and currently my mother-in-law lives with us. so. I enjoy watching them together and my daughter, she doesn't want to go to bed and she's looking for an excuse not to go to bed. She is four years old, so well, uh, pretty much everything is more exciting uh, than sleeping. So she tells your grandma that, grandma, I want a pancake. And of course your grandmother, she does her best to do a pancake. And then my daughter tells that, oh, Mm, I want a pancake with blueberries. So her grandmother, she looks for blueberries, she wears them, she put them on the pancake and my toddler she starts crying that, oh, I don't want uh, blueberries on a pig, I want them on the side. Or I don't want uh, pancakes, uh, I want raspberries. And this is not because she's a nasty kid, she's tired and uh, she really needs to go to bed and she's looking for excuses to prolong her uh, stay out of bed uh, to prolong her 
party in time in the evening so she can ask for some pasta later or for some eggs or for something else for a sandwich guys i have seen adult men and women doing the same thing so we look for this lady for a client we get him a date and she is slim she is tall she speaks english she is everything he has demanded and he tells us mm, it would be nice if she would also speak some French because I like French culture or mm, it would be nice if she could play a piano maybe you can find me someone who also played the piano like it always reminds me of this pancakes and blueberries on the side not so long ago I was doing grocery shopping and uh, when I was already taking my car to the line and I was placing everything on the line there was a lady in front of me and she looked at my choices of goods and she said that oh my god everything is so healthy like alles is so gesund and uh, i was surprised i looked at my products and yes i really bought some berries i bought some nuts i bought kefir because this is something we like our turkish friends uh, they have taught us to drink tea with nuts and dried fruits instead of sweets so i really like this tradition and also fruits and vegetables we eat a lot of this and i can't tell that i am the healthiest person but well we try to choose healthy food anyway i looked at her products and lots of snacks beer and two bottles of wine and we looked at the gourds uh, that each of us has chosen we have smiled i don't know maybe she had a party she planned a party the other night and this is why she needed all that beer and uh, all those snacks who knows but sometimes when i look at dating patterns of some men and women i want to say out loud that oh so healthy or wow so unhealthy just like with these choices i have seen it so many times when a gentleman uh, talks to a lady and obviously she is not interested for whatever reason the feeling is not mutual like they had two dates and she has already given him like all the hands that uh, she is ready to move on but she doesn't want to look like this bad person and to add scenes so she waits till it dies off naturally well i always prefer the clean cut so it is better to say that i'm not interested and not to prolong the misery of the other party but even i have seen it before like the lady tell that she is not interested and out of a sudden this gentleman determines for whatever reason that she is the one and he starts courting her more aggressively he starts calling her like he sends her flowers he texts her he asks her out to a very extravagant dinner he tries to prove her wrong and it is so not healthy like she said no okay you can try to prove her wrong like give yourself two dates if she hasn't changed her mind move on there will be plenty of other women who can choose you back it is not healthy to invest your time and your energy into someone who is not interested well of course sometimes people do it because deep down they don't feel ready to start a relationship deep down they know that uh, they prefer to stay single well they are afraid that if the other party the lady actually chooses him back and they start a relationship then later on she can say no she can change her mind she can dump him or he can get disappointed numerous fears but very often he simply doesn't want to settle so he chooses a woman who is not interested or a woman who is not ready to commit so subconsciously he understands that he can't build anything serious with her so this is so unhealthy i just want to scream when i see such a pattern and sometimes i happily want to shout out loud to the world that this is the healthy approach a gentleman means a lady and she shows interest and he cherishes this interest because well the majority of people won't find us a dating material they won't find us good enough or they won't uh, think that our values align with theirs and that's okay you don't have to date everyone and you don't need 
all people around you to find you attractive or dateable. You need just one person, but this person has to be truly special because she shares your values, long-term goals, she likes you the way you are, and she is ready to invest her time, her effort, her life into this relationship with you. So a smart approach is actually to notice people who notice you, who show interest in you. I'm not telling you right now that you have to date uh, and to marry the first lady that has smiled to you? Of course, no. But the smart approach is to actually notice people who show attention and show mutual interest or who show genuine interest. Why is she genuinely interested in you? Which qualities of yours caught her attention? Think about it. My little daughter who sits in front of several plates late in the evening and she had this heart-shaped pancakes, star-shaped pancakes, pasta. Well, uh, my mother-in-law, she is Jewish, she takes it somewhere, sometimes over the top, so like huge variety of dishes. And the kid is not even hungry, so she is tired and she needs to go to bed. She reminds me so much of some adult man who, after we have conducted this complex search and he is out there on this date and the lady, she smiles, she is beautiful, she shows interest because we have chosen her among like 30 plus candidates and we know that she can choose him back for all the right reasons but he sit there like with this not very pleased facial expression he can't even explain why he is not pleased but he's not there he's thinking about the next lady or he's thinking about his ex he's thinking about himself about whatever but he's not present or for example a zoom date and he's 15 minutes late and he doesn't even apologize, so he sits right there and he's already dismissing her for whatever reason. So this man with their numerous demands, they remind me of a four or five years old kid who doesn't really want those pancakes, but well, he or she is asking parents or grandparents to cook them because well she doesn't want to go to bed or she wants to watch a cartoon a little bit longer and while a mother or a father cooks or she can watch it till the end so our uh, kids well their logic are uh, it's admirable but when you are an adult you have to think about your patterns dating patterns about your actions why do you demand all this and then you neglect a person. For example, you invest time and you invest effort into texting, approaching that lady, and then on the date, you kind of sit there and you're not really there and you don't put much effort because, well, you didn't feel anything in the stomach, there was no sign. So you jump into a conclusion 50 minutes after the date has started that she is not the one. Having high standards uh, reminds me of a person who leads a really healthy way of life and this person knows which products he should choose, which products he should avoid, which type of milk is good for him, which type of products are, can actually harm his health or harm uh, his or her beautiful body. So such people, they know what they want and they actually choose healthy products. They make ch healthy choices. Well, because they have this habit of choosing healthy things, things that are good for them. And a person who doesn't lead a healthy lifestyle, not really, for example, you can look at the shopping cart and you will see there lots of fast food, lots of snacks, maybe a few salads, lots of beer. Well, such people remind me of uh, this men and women who claim they're choosy, who claim that their standards are so high, but at the end they actually choose to fall for people, to court people who don't show much interest, who are way too much into drama, uh, people who are not ready to commit, or people who can't chew them back or won't chew them back for the right reasons. So this is what the majority of people call being choosy when it comes to love. I want to wish you only healthy habits. I hope you will develop them. If we are talking about dating, I hope you will develop them while watching our blog. And please don't forget to press like and to subscribe. And of course, consider becoming a sponsor. I guarantee you that 
it will earn you some points in your dating karma and of course i am looking forward to your feedback so don't forget to share your thoughts about this video about your dating patterns in the comments below and i wish you lots of love from beautiful munich germany svetlana moha especially for the old.com